Good morning, folks. It's Sunny. Uh, welcome to our channel and welcome to another one of our videos. This is Monday morning. The market just opened up one minute ago. So let's get into our market, see what's happening today. Uh, Tesla invested $1.5 billion in Bitcoin. Oh, imagine that. Uh, they should have invested it when it was a lot lower. Okay, here's our lineup right now. RKT, our rocket, is doing okay. You know, in pre-market, I could have sold again at $21.99. I wanted to give it some room today. All right, uh, looks like everything is up. It's about 9.30 in the morning. Uh, we're looking at B, 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 Y. Like I stated, I wanted to get it down to somewhere around 26 to 25. We're close to the 26 mark. I'm gonna pull the trigger on half the shares. All right, we're gonna go over to our Merit Edge account. I got an order up right now to uh, currently to sell a put option. All right, we got plenty of cash available here. So we're gonna sell a put option this morning on bed and beyond. You know, it's calls, puts, remember select that, BBBY, and then sell to open five options at the 24 strike price. It's, remember, it's sell to open, STO, okay, put option. Okay, we're going to try to get a little bit of premium here. Let's see what the price will give us. We're picking a 24 strike price, which is $2 away by Friday. So, 38. I'm probably going to get about a 37. Let's put about a 37 in there. Um, all or none. We're going to get about $185 on this position. Okay, let's go ahead and preview order. All right, we're looking at the whole order here, making sure it didn't jump too far. Okay, uh, commission is going to cost us three dollars twenty-five cents for this, and our estimated order number is is about a, a, it's you know we'll make pretty good money. All right, then submit order. Okay, uh, we were executed at. Uh, 37 cents now we sold a put option and BBBY at the 24 and let me show you why I picked 24 and right now it's at 26 uh, 14 if I go over here to uh, the five minute chart let me see if I can get further out here Let's go with a 15 minute chart. See back here, it goes down to 25. I go with one day chart. All right, so last time it was at 24. We got down to 20, about $25 there. Last time it was at 24, was back here, it was on 113. Now, can it go to a 24 again? Yes, it can. That's why I got half the shares, okay? That's why instead of getting uh, uh, 10 options, I did five options. I did that for a reason. And uh, let's go ahead and check out the profile of the stock. And this is why I pulled the trigger on BBY. The one year target currently right now is at $28.96. It's at 26. Now, I'm requesting $24 per share. Okay, Look, before we get into that, let's go ahead and get, get our account right. Let's go to activity here. All right, that position, we received a premium of about $182. Okay, 
So let's go over here to our spreadsheet. Okay, we're set up here. So hopefully we make this $182. As long as it doesn't drop below $24 by the close of business Friday, we will collect that $182. Now how much money do we have on the line? We don't have $24,000. We have $12,000 to receive $182. Let's take $12,000 here. Let's put that down. All right. Let's put 182 down. Okay. Let's put an equal sign. Divided by... One point five two percent. One point five two percent in five days. Not one point five two percent from a CD in one year. It's a one point five two percent in five days. So I hope you guys are understanding what I'm talking about here. As long as she stays up above twenty four dollars on Friday, we're good to go. We have no worries. If she goes down to $25 before Friday, I'll do another uh, five options. And I might pick to 24 or might pick to 23. But see, that's how you capitalize on high premiums in these volatile mar markets that we're in. See, they pay us extra premium because of the volatility. Now, Bed, bed Bath & Beyond, Let's talk about it. I think I covered this once before. Uh, they concluded their $225 million share repurchase plan. This is one of the reasons why. And so they're currently working on their second one, which is, uh, I think it's $150 million. Yeah, they still have another $150 million on another plan that they started. It's not in this report here. Oh, it's right here. I only want to show you guys a fact. Okay. These ads are jumping the page around. I apologize. All right. They extended the maturity of the $150 million accelerated share repurchase program started in January 2021. The reason why they extended it to no later than April 21 instead of February 21, the share price went up too high because they were pumping the stock up. And because of that, they couldn't buy back uh, the whole 150 million uh, shares, worth of shares. Here's one of the analysts here. Uh, they said, Home Retail, Better Bath & Beyond I got a sharp downgrade from a Key Bank today with a new price target of $24, which at that time it represented a 32% downside from its current share value at the market open. Now this was dated 1st of February, so they could downgrade their shares. And there was an, another uh, analyst that done the same thing, but he downgraded it down to like $26. All right, Bed Bath & Beyond. It's hanging in there. And I see it staying above 24 by the end of this week. Based on everything that I've shown you guys, um, I looked at this, this chart here. We're looking real good. The lowest it's, it was uh, about uh, January 20th was around $25. Okay, but I wanted to go one more dollar below it. So back in uh, 113, it was at $23. So, because I believe some people are going to be staying in the stock. And because of that, I pulled the trigger and did a uh, put option at the 24 mark okay and remember I only picked up 
I only sold to open five five puts at the strike price of 24 of BBBY. And remember, the date is only a weekly option of 12 February. I was, I was only allowed to do that is because I had a lot of cash in my account. So they allowed me to sell a put. It's a cash secured put option. So it means that I'm going to receive, as long as it stays above $24, which is at $26.20 right now, I'll receive, I'll get, I'll get to keep the whole premium of $182. Now that's for five days with an investment of $12,000 on the line. That's all I had to have is $12,000 cash in order to do this trade. So that's for one week, I'll achieve 1.52%. And that's why I did the trade. It was a smart trade. We'll see at the end of the week if it pans out. And if it don't, hey, if it drops down to $25, I might add to this position. Or I might, you know, open up a new position uh, or a new position uh, at the 23 strike price. Okay. You got to be very careful with these stocks. I would not be playing in BBBY. But I'm just showing you how I sold a put option. It's been a while since we could do a, selling a put option because we were always doing covered calls because Merrill Edge wouldn't allow us to do it because we didn't have any cash on hand because we were using margin accounts. For our trades okay i appreciate you guys watching the video and please uh, share our videos with others click the like button and subscribe so you can get f future content now if you have any comments or anything on bbby please put them down below i know this is only a one week risk for me okay uh the most end up happening is i'll get put to stock and i could put a cover call against it the next following week Okay, I just want you to understand the process of what we're doing here. All right, this is Sonny. I'm out.